The Department of Urology at Stanford has a culture of innovation, collaboration, and inclusiveness. We have outstanding leadership who leads by example and who is open-minded and supportive. We are a group of passionate and diverse faculty, trainees, and administrators who are just very passionate about taking care of patients, pushing the boundary of research and innovation, as well as training the next generation of urologists and scientists. So the Department of Urology at Stanford is made up of three main divisions. We have an oncology group, an adult specialty group, and a growing pediatric urology group, plus some basic scientists that work with us. In the last 12 years, we've more than doubled our clinical volume and are really excited about the, the programs that we have available here. Dr. Liao's lab at the Stanford Department of Urology focuses on integrating novel diagnostics and therapeutics for addressing many things in urology. Within the Department of Urology at Stanford, Joe's lab is translational with a wide spectrum of projects ranging from cancer and AI to stones and infection. Being a clinician with a wide range of expertise allows you to translate that into a wide variety of research projects while still remaining cohesive in the lab. He spans the space between engineering, biology, and clinical oncology and has really been able to build that structure so that we can do really cutting edge research, especially in the areas of molecular imaging and diagnostics related to bladder cancer. As a clinician, I draw inspiration from my patients and their unmet needs. The overarching theme of my research program is the development of precision diagnostics and therapy for early stage urological diseases. Our major focus is bladder cancer, in which we have developed new imaging technologies, identify new cancer biomarkers, and liquid biopsy technologies for bladder cancer. The development of urinary biomarkers has been an ongoing research project in the Liao lab. And it started with a postdoc who came into the lab working and doing RNA-seq from urine samples from patients with and without bladder cancer. And we've been able to validate that test for detection and surveillance of bladder cancer to show good sensitivity of over 95% in both populations for the detection of bladder cancer. And we're hoping to then translate this into a clinical trial to help to see how you could use this test to dictate the schedule of cystoscopy for patients with bladder cancer. We've also focused on development of medical devices for both urinary tract infection, including molecular biosensors, and kidney stone disease with the development of a magnetic technology for retrieval of stone fragments. So the basic idea is that after the kidney stone has been fragmented, you use the working channel of the ureteroscope to coat the stone fragments with a magnetic hydrogel, and this makes them magnetizable. And then you insert a magnetic wire through the scope to capture the fragments. So it makes the process of getting a patient stone free much easier. We've been able to do some incredible work to A, actually help diagnose bladder cancers at the time of cystoscopy using artificial intelligence. This is a big task that we were able to accomplish through really great multidisciplinary work with a lot of fantastic collaborators, ranging from clinical collaborators all the way to our AI scientists. And Dr. Liao was the glue who helped to bring all of this together. Our work that we started off with, which was a, essentially a prototype, just detecting bladder cancer cells and tumors, has really grown beyond that. And now we're talking about how do we implement this and bring this to patients in a way that's usable. We aim to continue to form new collaboration and new partnership to really figure out new ways to both identify, diagnose, and treat these diseases. And we're hoping to continue to push the boundary of clinical care, research, and education. Career development is something that I'm deeply passionate about, I believe. The trainees are definitely our future. Joe's an incredible mentor. He really gets the balance right between giving you autonomy and encouraging you to think big on your projects while still being willing to roll up his sleeves and do the work along with you. He really prioritizes your individual goals while helping you maximize your potential. He really helped me think about problems, develop research questions, figure out how to attack those research questions, 
and how to access resources. Beyond that, he served as a mentor just in life and career in general, which I think is extremely valuable. One of the most exciting things that's happened recently is that we've opened a brand new laboratory and this has allowed us to consolidate our basic scientists into one big multidisciplinary lab. The future of this department is boundless. We really have the best people. We are ideally located. We're really at the hub of innovation and translation and through some of the institutional programs we have, we aim to translate our discoveries and findings so that it can actually benefit patients directly.